so near about one dozen uh, important uh, serious paste which cause major constraints in the sorghum production mainly in that uh, sorghum shoot fly stem borer pink stem borer shoot bug ear head bug sorghum midge and aphids so these are the major uh, pest which cause severe losses in a sorghum so sorghum is the major crop in maharashtra tamil nadu andhra pradesh uh, uttar pradesh rajasthan haryana gujarat and karnataka in karnataka major crop which is grown in a northern karnataka northern karnataka mainly districts dharwad bijapur raichur bellari in south grown in the chitradurg mysore shivamogga so more than near about 150 species of insect have been reported to damage a sorghum crop so in that mainly a dozen species are very serious and constitutes a major constraints in the sorghum production so they mainly classified in a borer pest ear head feeders sap feeders defoliators and non insect pest so borer category is pest mainly infect to the stem and shoot of a sorghum then ear head feeders means they mainly uh, ear head feeders cause damage to the grains sap feeders means mostly they are the sucking pest defoliators means they uh, feed on the leaves and completely defoliate the plants then non insect pest so first one borer category is pest in that stem borer and shoot fly so first one major pest of sorghum that is the shoot fly is considered to be one of the major important destructive pest of sorghum plants of a sorghum mainly infected during the seedling stage feeding on plants growing point uh, growing point may be killed due to the uh, feeding of that pest and form a dead herd symptoms that is the central stem and shoot may be killed these symptoms of infestation appears within 2 to 3 days after the infestation while insect cause 12% loss in a sorghum production Uh, and the uh, share of that pest is responsible is near about five percent. If the uh, insect cause loss twelve percent, twelve percent in a sorghum production, then uh, shoot flies having a share is near about five percent. So this one is the adult stage of uh, shoot fly. Scientific name: Atherigona socata, family Mucidae order. diptera so this is the dipteran order pest mainly this pest uh, distributes on uh, maharashtra andhra pradesh tamil nadu karnataka host range mainly cereal crops mainly infected by that pest in that maize ragi bajra rice wheat and grasses uh, then identification mainly adult stage of that pest which is a whitish uh, gray in color looks like a common house fly eggs mainly whitish in color uh, cylindrical in shape uh, cylindrical in shape pistil somewhat may be flatten so these are the eggs mainly whitish in color uh, mostly deposit their eggs on the lower side of a leaves 7 to 8 days of seedlings or on the young tillers one or three eggs are laid per leaves the white eggs have an elongate shape then larval stage mainly the larva which is uh, yellowish in color crawl down inside the uh, sheath of the sorghum on the base of young shoot killing the growing point as well as engaged leaves the full grown larva is near about 8 to 10 mm long has a yellowish in color so after hatching from the eggs these uh, larva uh, which is called as maggot 
because this is the dipter and order phase. So after hatching from the eggs, this maggot prowl down inside the sheath of a young shoots and kill the growing point as well as young leaves. This is the maggot of a uh, sorghum shoot fly having a without legs and yellowish in color. 6 mm long in size. The larval period is near about 8 to 10 days. Then pupal stage, mainly uh, pupal stage of that paste is found in a infected uh, stem or in a shoots. Sometimes also that pupa seen in the soil. Uh, pupal period uh, takes place about 8 to 10 days. Mainly pupa which is a, a brownish in color. Adult stage of the sorghum shoot fly mainly males of a uh, sorghum shoot fly generally blackish in colors and female uh, mainly grayish in color abdomen of the female generally yellowish with paired brown patches also observed on the abdomen of a female comparatively females which are larger than the males. So uh, these are the six brownish patches or black spots seen on the abdomen of a female of a sorghum shoot fly. This one is the sorghum shoot fly female. their infestation on that uh, leaf sheath In that uh, picture here, the sorghum should fly adult stage, then dead heart symptoms due to the infestation of maggot. Uh,
sorghum should play uh, nature of damage in that maggot is the infective stage of that pest after hatching from the eggs this maggots migrates to the upper surface of leaves and enters between the leaf sheath and stem after reaching the soil level the maggots bores inside the stem and cuts the growing point resulting into a dead heart symptoms dead heart symptoms that is the uh, drying of a central shoots due to the infestation of that maggots the damaged plants produce a more number of Showing the sorghum, so these should fly infestation. Should fly infestation normally high in the post rainy season. Post rainy season in that. Uh, mainly crop planted in a September October month this is रेन च प्रॉब्लम है सो अदर दैन दी ड्राइंग ऑफ ए सेंट्रल शूड्स ऑल्सो रेड माइनिंग टाइप्स ऑफ सिम्टम्स सीन इन द इन्फेक्टेड शूड्स और इन द शूड्स विच आर कंप्लीटली फिल्ड विथ excreta and feeding material in the infested shoots management practices uh, when we should start uh, management practices one egg per plant it is the eta level of that pest also 10% uh, dead heart symptoms found chemicals mainly imidacloprid 10 the next management practices use the increased the seed rate 12.5 kg per hectare also minimize the infestation of that pest remove the shoot fly damaged seedlings at the time of thinning so we should minimize the infestation of shoot fly 
early sowing use resistant varieties transplanting intercultivation weeding crop rotation cropping system field sanitation these are the also important cultural practices then plowing soon after the harvest remove the stubbles then use of the uh, tnu developed a fish mill trap at the rate 12 per hectare till the crop in 13 days old then application of chemicals mainly methyl dimeton dimethoate methyl dimeton at the rate 12 ml per hectare dimethoate 12 ml per hectare neem seed kernel extract 5% soil application of 418 g at the rate 18 kg per hectare carbofuron 33.3 kg per hectare also effective for the management of that should fly infestation so these are the some uh, biological control agents mainly in that these are the predatory mites then trichogramma that is the ex parasitoid then also useful for the management of that pest the next important pest of sorghum that is the stem borer kylo patilus family cerimbicidae order lepidoptera host range mainly cereal crops mark of identification of this stem borer mainly uh, in that eggs mainly scale like flat oval in shape eggs uh, which are seen under surface of leaves in a groups larva mainly yellowish brown with a brown head and prothoracic sealed on that prothoracic region of that larva mainly yellowish brownish in color then other stage moth which is a medium in size and straw like color of that moth four wings of the adult moth which is light brownish to yellowish with row of black dots also observed on the apical margin of a four wings in a adult stage this is the row of black dots seen on the apical margin of a four wings hind wing generally whitish in color in females and straw like color in a male then life cycle of that pest it uh, adult female of a stem borer deposit near about 300 eggs having a scale like appearance flat in flat oval in shape in a groups on the under surface of leaf near the mid rib of mid ribs of a leaves the incubation period of that eggs is near about 2 to 5 days the larva which is comes out from that eggs larval period is near about 28 to 15 days having a 5 to 6 in stars then pupal stage pupa of that pest is mainly inside the infested stem pupal period is near about 18 to 15 days then after the pupation adult will emerge from that pupa and total life cycle of that pest is completed within 30 to 40 days then uh, nature of damage or uh, symptoms forms due to the infestation of that pest so this is the stem borer uh, pest their common name itself indicates that this pest mainly infest on the stem portion of a sorghum that's why it is called as a stem borer so this is the lepidopteran order pest their damaging stage is the larval stage so it infest the crop a month after the sowing and damage persist up to a emergence of a ear heads in a sorghum so their infestation of that pest is start from the one month after the sowing and this infestation may be continue up to up to the ear head formation central shoots uh, becomes withering and cause a dead heart symptoms forms due to the infestation by the larva mainly they uh, feed on the 
shoot portion of a plants then bore holes are visible on the stem near the nodal portion in that uh, picture we clearly see that these are the bore holes along with the excreta of that larva seen on the nodes of the sorghum young larva mainly crawls and feeds on the tender folded leaves causing typically shoot hole symptoms these are the shoot hole symptoms mainly observed on the leaves by the young stage of the larva affected parts of the stem may be shown internally tunneling by the larval stage so this internal tunneling uh, internal tunneling in the infested portion of the stem due to the stem borer so these are the dead head dead heart symptoms then shoot hole symptoms and stem tunneling symptoms forms due to the infestation of that stem borer so which type of management practices are uh, used for the minimize that pest in that uh, 10% damage in a sorghum due to the infestation of stem borer at that time application of a control measure so initially cultural practices showing the uh, lab lab or cowpea as a intercrop to minimize the stem borer infestation in the manner of four rows of a sorghum then one row of a lab lab or cowpea cow will be uh, sown the use of the light traps for the monitoring attract and kill the adults then mix any one of the following insecticides with a sand to make up a total quantity of 50 kg per hectare apply in the leaf forls so these chemicals uh, forate carbofuron carbaryl should be mixed with a sand and apply in a forl forl of a sorghum in a quantity 50 kg per hectare the stubble should be uh, flowing up during winter and burn to destroy the hibernating stages that is the larval stage grow resistant cultivars dead herds uh, dead herds should be pulled out used as a fodder or buried in a manure pits then use of the biocontrol agents in that trichogramma chilonis eggs parasitoid trichogramma minutum bracon brevicornis bracon chinensis apentelis flavips should be used as a eggs parasitoid or larval parasitoid then use of the chemicals in that forate carbofuron carbaryl should be applied in a forl along with a sand this is also a uh, next pest that is the pink stem borer pink stem borer uh, their common name is due to the the larva which is a pinkish in color that's why it is called as a pink stem borer scientific sesamia in parents family noctuidae order lepidoptera so this is the noctuidae order pest mean means their damage is mainly caused during the night hours dead heart symptoms fight ear head symptoms also forms due to the infestation of that pink stem borer then ear head ear head caterpillar scientific name helicorpa armizera family noctuidae order lepidoptera so mark of identification in that eggs mainly spherical in shape creamy white in color deposit singly larval uh, stage of that paste shows color variation according to the crop it has dark brown gray lines on the body and Uh, lateral region of that uh, larval body having a white lines pupal stage of that pest mainly in a soil or folded leaves pods or crop debris which is a light brownish in color adult stage light pale brown yellow stout moth four wings which are olive green to pale brown with dark brown circular spots in the center 
hind wings are pale smoky white with a broad blackish outer margin on that hind wings so this paste uh, their common name ear head caterpillar means they mainly concentrate their damage on the ear heads of a sorghum so ear heads which are partially eaten and forms a chalky appearance due to the infestation of the ear head caterpillar then fecal pellets means excreta of that caterpillar are visible within the infested ear heads so this ear head caterpillar mainly causes damage on the ear heads and this these are the specific symptoms ear heads are partially eaten with a chalky appearance due to the infestation of helicorpa armigera then management practices should be initiated uh, to ear heads to larva per ear heads at that time control measures should be apply set up light traps use of the sex pheromone traps 12 per hectare use of the uh, helilure for the helicorp armigera attract male moths in the sex pheromone traps application of nuclear polyhedrosis virus at 10 days interval at 1.5 into 10 days to 12 polyhydrogen oxygen bodies along with the crude sugar 2.5 kg plus cotton seed kernel powder 250 g on the ear heads for the effective uh, reduction of a larval population then next important pest of sorghum that is the sorghum mis pontarina sorghicola this is the dipteran order pest so adults looks like a common uh, adults looks like a mosquito which is small transparent wing in the adult of a sorghum mis then life cycle or bionomics mainly eggs uh, eggs of adult female of a sorghum mis fly or sorghum mis deposit eggs singly in the developing florets resulting in the pollen shedding having a long uh, telescopic oil this uh, adult female deposit their eggs in the developing flowers and uh, due to that result a shedding of a pollens a female deposit near about 30 to 35 eggs at the rate of 6 to 10 in each floret so 30 to 35 eggs should be deposited by a single female incubation period 3 to 4 days the maggots will be hatch from that eggs and starts feeding on the developing grains maggot period is near about 8 to 10 days larva which is a colorless but when fully grown it looks like a dark orange in color days the larval stage under diapause in a cocoon during the month of december to january due to the extreme cold condition within the spikelets pupal stage of that pest is found in the uh, florets or in the gloom of a flowers high infestation of that pest is observed during the sorghum flowering times and this uh, infestation may be extended by a wide range of planting dates or on the maturities if having a different time uh, different planting dates so uh, due to that uh, maturity will becomes uh, differently and infestation may be increase by that pest the presence of mis flies can be identified by visiting the sorghum field early in the morning or late in the evening at that time we see the flies actively moving on the 
flower panicles mis infestation can be identified from the reed oozes that comes out from the developing seeds in the spikelets and placed within the fingers when we uh, that infested spikelet press by the fingers then uh, a red oozes comes out from that infested spikelets at that time we can see the or identify the infestation of a sorghum mage fly so these are the mage infected sorghums uh, in that uh, in that spikelets grains which are very less in numbers due to the infestation of that pest and in another picture see the egg laying of a sorghum mage fly in the sorghum flowers so this is the infested uh, grains of a sorghum due to the sorghum mage fly mainly reddish uh, brown color grains developed due to the infestation of that sorghum mage fly and uh, finally they turns into a, a black or a fungus or blackish in color control measures should be initiated stain uh, ten maggots at the ear head stage in that use of the resistant varieties conjur larval parasitoids apentella species eupilopsis popa Uh, tetrastichus species predator aureus albidi penicillus tapinoma indicum then application of chemicals in that carbaryl malathion neem seed kernel extract application of malathion in a spray 500 liter per hectare use of the light traps then various chemicals for the management of that pest the next one important pest that is the plant lice or aphids scientific name propelecipum madis aphididi order hemiptera so these are the plant lice also called as aphids generally dark bluish green and somewhat oval in shape having size 2 mm long black legs uh, cornicles also seen on the abdomen and antenna winged and wingless forms occurs in the aphids wingless means without wings and winged means having a wings female gives birth to living young without mating and a generation require only one week so uh, in that uh, aphids generally viviparous type of reproduction is a uh, takes place they directly give birth to the egg ones without mating or without deposition of a eggs the adult is yellow colored with a dark green legs then uh, this is the second phase their damaging stage is the nymph as well as adults so mainly Uh, colonies of aphids means colonies of aphids means they are uh, remain on the remain in the large numbers or in a groups seen on the central leaf or stems or in a panicles so young nymph as well as adults suck the cell sap from that leaf or stem or in from the panicles and due to the frequently sucking the cell sap leaves becomes turns into a yellowish in color then leaves becomes mottled margins of leaves becomes necrosis the aphid produce abundance honeydew on which white molds also grown on that secreted honeydew like substance in panicles honeydew may hind hinder harvesting The aphids also transmit maize dwarf mosaic virus. Management practices for that application of systemic group of chemical insecticides mainly dimethoid, methyl. These are the effective chemical for the minimize the infestation of the sorghum aphid. So these are the major serious. 
paste of sorghum in that sorghum should fly sorghum stem borer sorghum pink stem borer sorghum ear head caterpillar sorghum midge and sorghum aphids okay kunala ka doubt asel tar vichara Type of seeds generally produced due to the infestation of ear head caterpillar. Chalky appearance of a grains due to the partial feeding. ठीक है 